Hi everyone, we are Team Hydrogen Mobilities and we are here to introduce the Jetura, India's first hydrogen powered scooter featuring solvable fuel canisters for instant refueling and zero emissions. Think of a world where you could refuel your scooter as fast as filling my car, but without burning a single drop of it. No smoke, no carbon, no waiting hours to charge. That's the vision behind the Jetura, our hydrogen powered scooter developed by Hydrogen Mobilities. It's not the standard electric version, it's a leap to the next era of cleaning. A G2 drive runs on compressed hydrogen canisters that can be swapped in under 2 minutes, offering zero emissions, instant refueling, and lower range than most things. This innovation can reshape urban transportation, reduce important fluid dependency, and boost India's green economy. For Kerala, a state striving for industrial growth and sustainability, a G2 drive represents a new growth engine, a product made for people, planet, and progress. Now let's explore how this idea connects innovation, economy, and ecology, and how it positions Kerala as a pioneer in the hydrogen mobility revolution. Before we dive deeper into our concept, let's look at the bigger picture. Why now and why Kerala? This graph shows Kerala's GDP growth compared to India's GDP. While India's economy has been expanding at over 7 percent, Kerala's growth has covered around 6.5 percent. That means our state, though socially advanced, is new, innovate, in innovation-driven industries to accelerate growth. Clean technology, energy transition, and sustainable transport are the next growth areas. And this is exactly where high energy mobility steps in. Combining innovation, sustainability, and industrial opportunity. Now that we understand the economic needs, let's look at how the energy situation creates the perfect opening for hydrogen mobility. Thanks, Mugi. So, this graph tells a surprising story. Here you see Kerala's petrol prices steadily rising. Now, over rupees 107 per liter, normally that should push people towards electric vehicles. But notice this EV registrations are actually declining. That's a paradox. That inspired our research. Why? Because EV adoption in India faces real world frictions, long charging lines and limited public charges, battery replacement cost and range anxiety, apartment dwellers without private parking and rising electricity tariffs. So even though people want eco-friendly transport, charge in downtime and inconvenience slow EV grip. This is where hydrogen mobility becomes a real world thing. Instant refueling, zero emissions and non-dependency on the grid. My teammate will now explain how our hydrogen technology actually compares with petrol and petrol scooters. Thank you, Nibir. Now, we will look into deeper into the big picture of the comparison between the technology chart between the hydrogen versus electric versus the petrol. Petrol is really good in the performance and the convenience. Petrol scores high for the quick refueling but fails badly on emission and the cost. Electric scores well for the efficiency and sustainability but struggles with the charging time and range. Hydrogen, on the other hand, achieves the best of the, of the, of the both worlds. Zero emission like EV and the instant refueling like the petrol. Our scooter H2 Ride uses the swappable hydrogen canister that can be replaced in just two minutes. It's efficient, fast, and requires no grind charging. We also use a fuel cell system that converts the hydrogen into electricity, releasing only vapor uh, as a byproduct. Uh, that means zero pollution and zero noise. Now let's move into the big picture. How do we uh, fit into the current mobility landscape? Thanks, Prasid. So, this is our portal's five force analysis, which shows that the hydrogen two-wheeler space is still wide open. Supply of power is high right now because hydrogen infrastructure is limited, but competition among EV makers is already intense, meaning hydrogen scooter face low direct rivalry, making this the right time to enter. Government support for green hydrogen emission and infrastructure investment are increasing over 20,000 crore national funds. On the competitive side, all electric either EVs IQ dominates the EV space, but their biggest pain point remains charging down times. That's where our product H2 Rive stand up. It delivers instant refueling, no battery degradation, and no range anxiety. In other words, we are not replacing EVs. We are solving the problems EV today. Now my teammate Gavin will explain hydrogen infrastructure and business ecosystem. Thank you, Nihal. Kerala is the perfect place to launch hydrogen mobility. We already have projects like BPCL's Green Hydrogen Plant in Kochi, the Trivandrum Refueling Station and the Hydrogen Valley Innovation Cluster, connecting industries, startups and universities. With this ecosystem forming, our h 2 Rise scooter will be the first practical application for everyday users. Our target market is around 1.2 lakh rupees, comparable to premium EVs, but with the refueling cost lower than petrol and longer life cycle performance. We are also planning to integrate delivery partnerships with Swiggy and Blinky. For doorstep canister swaps, making the ecosystem even more user friendly. To connect 
told, high energy mobility is, is more than a product. It's a movement towards clean, instant, and independent mobility. Kerala has the innovation potential, and hydrogen is the spark that can drive it forward. Thank you.